let's start now uh, we are disassembling uh, the MSI GS65 cooler because it is not working so uh, we are going to oil it and we are trying it because exactly we do not know it is oilable or not so we are trying to disassemble this uh, cooler radiator this one and let's see Let's see. We can or not to make it in oil because it is so nose noisy. We even it is not rotating. So let's look. Let's look what's happening here. So let's see how it's hard to rotating this cooler. So we are trying to pull up, but it's impossible. This is comes up, this one but it is hard so maybe we may broke this one and let's try another way no we can pull out this one but this one this one can't oh yeah it's good so good it's possible yeah you can see that now in this hole we can put some oil and then we can see that this cooler will rotate very easily so it is very good thing to happening now because this is removable it's very good so let's let's make some oil uh, try me not to be captured Here we have some oil and let's take one or two drops. You must be so careful doing this because if you take this oil to this cooper it will not work maybe it will not work so be careful if you are doing this be careful on your own risk it's enough wait it's enough so now we need that cooler set. <laughs> Here it is. Uh, now 
we need this the cleaning from dust very little but cleaning clean color is better than dusty so it's clean also we may have not change this color because it will not have any noise so let's now see that it is easy to rotation this rotation is so easy because uh, in the few few minutes uh, in the past uh, we tried to rotate this one but we needed so much strength to rotate this one so now it's so easy to rotate this rotation to rotate this color so job is done it's good fantastic so let's assemble this uh, MSI GS65 cooler and let's go to the to the beginning and try try like this it's good try for all of it everything is visible yes it's good okay now we try to add the screws using this screwdriver so let's check another side yeah, here we are. We assemble this one and see how it works. I'm going to go to the Here yeah, and the last one, the last one here. And take it back to the motherboard. So, now let's see how is the thermal paste condition. We have to some we have to make some changes here yeah, because the thermal paste flat is so clear in this side so we have to change is too much let's take from here and it from there
Also, when you are uh, pasting thermal, uh, when you are doing some thermal paste on your uh, laptop, be sure that this height of this thermal paste is very small. So you you must be you must be use some flat thing to be height of this thermal paste on this radiator very small because when it is too high some air particles may be contained in this thermal paste so we are using this flat card cards to make it so very very small height and now we see different yes so let's do this this side and this one is better than it was now let's go to the motherboard and this one to the motherboard again it was uh, not here but in this side mm, no sorry mm, sorry and here we are. It's ready. Uh, ready. Taking screws back. So my hands are so terminal pasty and so I need some paper to clean my hands stay here Screwdriver and and we need another board. Here they are. Let's take this screw uh, screws back. And also be sure when you are taking screws back, don't be sure that must not be these screws harder. Some space must be there. Because thermal paste goes from that flat on there and nothing left on this center the last one here we have and also these connectors connect back again Okay, and this one, and let's clean this padger and using to connect this back again. 
I prefer this plastic because sometimes you you may feel like this on the motherboard and when it's plastic it's better because if you are using some iron or something else different like this plastic you may scratch the motherboard and may damage so be careful while you are connecting these connectors and last one this one okay it's done thank you for watching if you like this video please like and subscribe my channel so now this is the this is the laptop is uh, MSI uh, GF65 so we 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 are uh, oiling this cooler this one and now we see you can see that this third one rotates uh, give me flashlight uh, here you can see that this one rotates and this Two, these two also rotates. We can see turn off video. So it's good. This is the result of oiling MSI GS65 cooler. This cooler, this one, this cooler was not working. So now it rotates and even it doesn't have any noise. So it is necessary if it's possible to oil the coolers every a year so job is done everything nice okay thank you for watching if you like what we have done now you can subscribe my channel be happy be healthy